Hello everyone, my name is Cam and today we have had the news that both Milan clubs are not renewing their partnership with Pez. So, in this video, we are going to go over what this means going forward. So this morning we had official confirmation from Konami that both Milan clubs are not going to continue their partnership with Pez. Now, when partnerships end with official communication from Konami, it normally means that they are going to be partnered with EA. If you look at Borussia Dortmund and Liverpool's exit from the franchise, they too had official confirmation from Konami and then moved to EA for the next season. So, both Milan clubs could be exclusive to EA Sports next season. That is one possibility. Also, I made this video in May of this year detailing the future of partnered clubs within PES. In this video, I made a graph which was based on their contractual situations. If you are interested in the licensing side of things, I will leave a link to that video in the description below. Another reason why I think this is an exclusive deal is because last year EA Sports and AS Roma announced a partnership together, but there was no communication from Konami confirming the loss of Roma as a license like they have done with several clubs in the past. Also, you have to remember the big blow EA suffered last year with Konami claiming full exclusivity over Juventus, and at the time the deal was massive as it was showing Konami's fight back in the licensing war. But sometimes the war is never over with EA, as you know. Konami have always been proud of their ties to the prestigious Milan clubs, but if you think about it, both Milan clubs haven't been at their best for a while, but Inter Milan are showing more resurgence as of late. I think if EA do have full exclusivity to both clubs, I feel it's for getting one over Pez once again. So what does this mean for Serie A? Will the league license go? And the answer for that is despite two clubs potentially leaving Pez, it shouldn't affect any league license because gaining the rights for the Serie A does not give Konami or EA Sports access to all of the teams, hence why Juventus were able to be exclusively tied up to Konami for up to three years. So that wraps up today's video and all I'm going to add is that this is not the end of the world for Pez. For me, gameplay is the most important part of Pez and licenses are bonuses to the franchise. A balance is needed, but we don't really have that balance due to how I feel about the gameplay of Pez 2020. You should expect in the coming weeks to hear new licenses for the next Pez to sweeten the blow of losing two big Italian clubs for the franchise. Anyway, my name is Cam. Hope you have uh, all enjoyed today's video. What are your thoughts on the current situation of losing the two? Anyway, my name is Cam. Stay safe and I will see you all in the next one.